you <laughs> you mind if I give you a hug? I'm so happy to give it back to you. I'm happy to give it back. Thank you so much, you are an angel. You're some miracle today because I knew where the ring was. Yeah. Well, good morning, everyone. Back on the road today, headed down to central Louisiana. Going to meet up with my friend Bayou Diggs. Uh, I haven't hunted with him in well over a month, and he invited me down. We're going to be searching a lake that they had drained to see if there's any rings out there. And then we're going to go hit some fields for some relics, Civil War relics. And then we're also going to have a, he told me we have a plantation, a new commission. So we're going to go do that. So I'm looking to get hopefully some jewelry, some old silver rings, I mean old silver coins, and some uh, Civil War relics, a little bit of variety of everything that we can get down here. Uh, I've got a, a full day tomorrow and a half a day today. So hopefully we're going to get on some hot spots and find some good stuff. I still got about two hours to drive, so once I get there and get suited up, I'll turn the camera on, we'll get swinging, we'll find something, we'll show it to you. So until then, just sit back and relax, enjoy the show. with the one and only Mr. Bayou Diggs. Welcome! Yeah, we're back out here at this lake today and uh, I don't know if you can tell on camera but you can see the swim area down there. It's uh, They are draining this lake and so he has already found about 10 rings. One of my last water videos is down in here and uh, he's already found like 10 rings and tons of stuff and so uh, hopefully we're gonna it's a little bit further out we're gonna be able to go a little bit further out more and find some more stuff and then we have a um, 1921 house we're gonna hit About a hundred year old house and then tomorrow we're gonna hit a plantation in in some fields or just a plantation we're gonna hit we're gonna hit a little bit both so we're gonna get maybe hopefully silver rings and, and silver coins and old relics and maybe some Civil War stuff who knows? So, what's your prediction? What are we gonna get? Well, if you dig as many pull tabs as I'm about to dig, you'll, you're bound to find a ring. We're gonna get us a ring out here. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get us a ring. So let's get the swing and see what we can get. I'm hunting today with my AT Pro since we're out here on the beach in the water. So I always enjoy my AT Pro out in these things. And uh, I got it on Pro Custom, Iron Disc at 30, sensitivity down two bars. Hunting with my uh, Viper Coil. And so let's get at it. Let's go find a ring. We literally just put our earphones on, and he, <laughs> by you, just called me over and dug the first signal. Sixty-nine seventy. I thought it was a coin. Where is it? There it is, right there. No, it's a bottle cap. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bottle cap. Here you go. Here's your ring. Oh, I'll give it to you. Thank you. <laughs> Here's your silver ring. Booby prize. It uh, looks all like I saw it. was that. Yeah. Good, <laughs> good. So maybe I can get the first ring in. Let's go let's go do it, find some more. Well, this is just like water hunting, but just there's no water here. And you're listening for all those iffy tones. I was getting a, a 78 to an 80, real jumpy sounding. And uh just popped it up out of the water. And I think this is gonna be silver. Look at this. This is gonna be nice. Maybe not silver. Let's go over here and see if we can't. Wash it off. It's a pretty locket. Live and love, probably laugh. Check that out. It's all right. I can't read if it's that silver. It's ringing up a 78 to an 80. It is a locket. There might be something in it. Yeah. We'll have to open that at the wrap up. Yeah. Let's keep that as a secret. Yeah. We'll see. It is a locket. It is a locket. 
Yeah, yeah it sure you is. Got, you got love, laugh, and live on there. Maybe there's a gold coin in there. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. Who knows, man? There's the first find. All right. Digging lots of pull tabs and uh, lots of other stuff. I've just been working the shoreline here. Bayou's calling me over. Says he's got a big ring. So, is that going to be another class ring? I don't know yet. You don't know? All I did was kick it over and look at it. Let's see. It came from right here. Oh, gosh. It was a scratchy 80-something. And then now it's looking like 40s. Yeah, got a skeleton head got a on skull. it. Skull. It's gonna be a stainless steel ring. Yeah, big ugly. That's ugly, man. I'll take it though. Look at there. That's pretty nice, man. Let me get a picture <laughs> with you holding that thing. First ring of the day. There it is. Right there, big old ugly skeleton. All right, let's keep going. There's stuff so out here to be found. Oh yeah, it's got words on it too. What does it say? Death. Oh, <laughs> death. <laughs> Stardom or death? I think you might need to throw that back out there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it with the collection with the ugly rings. All right, let's keep going. Well, it's been a while since my last target in uh, Bayou hasn't found anything either. Kind of going quiet. He's dug about 10 rings out of here uh, just in the last uh, week or so. So he's cleaned it out pretty good. But uh, there's a few targets in here. You dig through all, sift through all the trash and the pull tabs. Getting to 40, 41. I thought, oh, it's just going to be one of those ketchup packages or one of those aluminum foil tops or one of those juice bottles and i said ah i might as well just dig it dug it popped it up check out check this out looks like we got a dog tag it looks like a is it gonna be a legit dog tag we might can get this one returned austin Ballot Jr. I think it's going to be a social, so I'll cover that up. Yeah, this is going to be a legit uh, dog tag. Yep, got his social security, he's O positive, and he's Pentecostal. It's going to be a dog tag. Check that out. All right, that's a good find. I can probably look him up on the military site and get this back to him. Why are you calling me over again? He got him a gold ring, he says. We're just about ready to quit. And I came through here a while ago. That's what makes it so bad. You dig a 42? No. Nope. Well, you missed that. Oh, man. It's a little bitty one, but it's a gold one. Yeah, 14K stamped. All right. Yeah. Good. Congratulations, dude. That's two rings, a bracelet, and a dog tag. Finding any coins? Lots of coins. Yeah. Lots of coins. We're just about ready to finish up here. Hey, it's a it's a ring. It looks nice. Looks nice. All right. It's half like it's part I'll of the set. I probably skipped over. Yeah, you got the wedding band. So I want the other part. It's got to be in here somewhere. Keep looking for it. Let's see if we can find it. I'm swinging up to the truck. We're fixing to head over to a house and uh, see what we can find out over there at that uh, 1921 house. So I will see you over there in the yard. And we're in the heart of the old downtown, uh, uh, the historic section of this town. Check out what we're fixing to detect. Yeah. Nice little, little home here. We have the front yard. And all over here on the side yard. So hopefully... We're going to get into some good stuff here. So let's get at it and let's see. I'm going to be using my Equinox here. And uh, it's going crazy right now because I'm by this electric pole. But yeah, we're going to be on Park 1. We're going to be just on the normal stuff, recovery. I'm going to just change my recovery speed down to 5. We'll go a little bit deeper. And, uh, and uh, I'm going to leave my sensitivity at 20. And Park 1 multiple frequency. And we're good to go. Let's get at it. Oh, well, I found this ring. It was a hot 45 signal out there with the AT Pro in the dry sand, but it had previously been underwater, you know, about this deep of water. Uh, and when I found it, I said, oh, I think I can get this back to the owner. And I had posted on the, online the social circles and tried to figure out uh, who this belonged to. 
who was it for uh, and I put all the characteristics and it wasn't until today that somebody actually reached out and said I think you found my friend's son ring and uh, she said call her right now and I did and here she is and she showed up and we were able to return this ring to her and I, nothing makes my heart more happy and we were only a mile away us. and we were just a mile away right yeah. the lady said I'm only a mile away I'm right here in town he wore it for a week one week yeah. for a week and he lost it and he was so upset my name is Benjamin my name is Kendra and yeah. you have no idea you just you have no idea <laughs> I knew when I found it, I knew when I found it that it was destined to go back where it belonged because that's what I do. Yes, sir. And Mike, my friend, he does the same thing with me. And I'm so happy to return this to you. Your friends were looking out for you because they messaged me, so call Kendra. Look, the people, I got a message from a man I don't even know, sent yeah. me the picture of my the ring. It was to him and his sister. Would you know I found that at, at the lake? Oh, didn't I, know that was on his yeah. Finger last. Like I said, he's been gone since 2016, so. It's like some closure. That's it. I actually, some friends of mine picked up a ring at. We found one at a. Uh, Lake. And I posted it on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And we found the little girl, Gabby Hale, that it belonged to. And I said then, I said, Lord, please. If it's possible, I'll get that ring back, Lord, please. You know what it means to people. Oh, sure it does. Enough, yeah. I really do. It came, it came back. You, have, you mind if I give you a hug? Absolutely. I'll be so happy to give it back to you. I'm happy to be here. Thank you so much, Mr. Angel. You're yeah, some yeah. miracle today because I knew where the ring was. Mm -hmm. It was in the bottom of the lake. Well, now that, now that they've drained it out, I was able to get out there and it was just a bright <sighs> signal and I picked it right up. And that was for you. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Get in there, Benjamin. Get a, let's get a picture. <laughs> Please. Right there. Thank you. You want him with the ring? <laughs> yeah. Let's get one close up with the ring. Yeah. Thank you again so much. And the lady lost her son in 2016. She lost her son, she said, in a, uh, some kind of a horrible accident in 2016. So getting her back this memento of her son. And he lost is, the ring a week after he got it. That's right. In that's the right. lake. Yeah. Wow. And now you get a little piece of, uh, a little closure back to her heart. I'm happy piece to of her son her. is back. I know so. you do the same thing. Yeah. Never I'm been. glad to see her to capture the moment with you. So. I know. I'm excited. Way to go by, you dig. Way to go.